In this video, I'll be working into how you can buy and sell crypto using the sports trading on the Binance app. Okay, so if you have been looking for how you can leverage on the sports trading on the Binance app, this video will surely be helpful to you. So make sure you watch this video from the beginning to the very end. So before you move on now, if you are new to this channel, I am Selim. I want to basically teach you guys how you can make money online, okay? So if you are new here, I want to be getting more of my make money online videos. Go over now and smash the subscribe button, like this video, and also leave a comment in the comment section. So now let's dive into today's business. The first thing you want to do to get started with the sport trading on Binance is to have a Binance account, okay? So if you don't have a Binance account, I'm going to leave a link to create a Binance account in the video description. So just click on the link and get an account. So before you can actually start the sport trading, you need to verify your account. So when you're done with the registration, you need to verify your account and complete your KYC. So after that, then you have access to all the features that Binance actually offers. So to get started with the spot trading, the first thing you want to do is to click on this trade over here at the bottom. When you click on trade, you're going to bring over here. Over here at the top, you're going to see convert over here. You're going to see spot, you're going to see margin, you're going to see fiat and so on and so forth. All right. So as this video says, we are going to be talking about the spot trading on the Binance app. Now, let me explain what the spot trading on a Binance app simply means, okay? So now, for example, you have USDT. I want to like convert it or exchange it into BNB or BTC. So that's where you're going to like spot trade on the Binance app, okay? I'm going to be explaining what the limit actually means and I am going to be explaining what the market actually means, okay? So make sure you watch this video to the very end. So the first thing you want to do when you come over here to this app is to click on this bmb slash usdt okay so now you need to like search for the coin you want to buy using your usdt okay so for example you want to buy btc using usdt just search for btc over here you can see btc slash usdt so just tap on it and you can see over here you are buying btc using usdt so the one on the left hand side it means you are buying why the one on the right hand side it means that that is what you are going to be using to buy the one on the left okay as you can see over here buy and you can also see sell over here so now for instance let's say you want to buy btc using the usdt as i've explained before what you need to do is to come over here and input the amount of usdt you want to use to buy the btc for example let's say i want to use 50 percent of my account balance you can see my account balance over here is 120 usdt 75 percent of the balance or you can just come over here and input the amount that's like maybe 100 usdt and you're going to see the btc you are going to like get in return and you are going to click on buy btc at the bottom over here so but before you can actually buy and you know sell cryptocurrency using this particular spot trading let me show you guys what the limit and what the market simply means so this market simply means that you are buying at the market rate. i mean if btc is thirty thousand dollars it simply means that you are buying btc at that particular market rate all right so why for the limit if i click on limit over here okay now so for the limit let's say for instance the price of btc currently is maybe thirty one thousand dollars okay and you don't want to like buy it where it's that high and you are waiting for the price of btc to drop maybe to around twenty nine thousand dollars before you finally buy the btc so what you need to do to buy it is to come over here to the spot trading then select the limit okay you select the limit over here so the market simply means that you are buying at the current market price why the limit simply means that you want to buy it when the price drop to some certain amount of money so you need to come over here maybe you want the price to drop to twenty nine thousand dollars before buying it come over here and input twenty nine thousand dollars over here so when you click on buy Binance is not going to buy the crypto for you automatically. They are going to wait for the Bitcoin price to drop to $29,000 before they finally credit your wallet with Bitcoin. I hope you get this scenario. So you make use of the limit if you don't want to buy a crypto at that particular market price. You want to buy the crypto when the amounts drop a bit, right? So that's when you are going to make use of the limit. But if you want to buy the crypto at the market rate, I mean, if Bitcoin is $31,000, I want to buy it for $31,000. Come over here and click on this limit over here and select the market, which means you want to buy at the market price. So here you need to input the equivalent of the BTC you want to purchase in dollars. You can input something like $100. So depending on the amount of BTC you want to buy. So that's basically how you can buy 
other coin using a stable coin on the spot trading section on the binance app so you can also sell crypto over here on the spot trading on the binance section click on this sell over here bnb as an example let's say you bought bnb when it was around 200 dollars and now the price of bnb actually increases to something like 250 dollars so now what you need to do is to convert that your bnb i mean in order to make profit you need to convert that bnb into a stable coin like usdt so you can like secure your profit because the price of usdt does not drop so what you need to do is to come over here click on sell over here then here is let's say if you are using the market or the limit section as i've explained the other time and here you need to input the amount of btc you want to sell into usdt then you click on sell btc over here so you can actually select any crypto you want to like convert or sell over here just search for the crypto you can search for pmb you can search for ltc which is litecoin just click on litecoin slash usdt so the one on the left hand side is what you are buying with the one on the right hand side so you are buying ltc using usdt and to sell you need to click on this sell over here and just set the ltc to usdt so that is how you can spot trade on the binance app i mean how you can like do the spot trading on the binance app step by step so the first thing to do is to get you start your binance account the next thing you want to do is to verify your kyc and you can have the spot trading section so guys i hope you find this binance spot trading tutorial helpful if you do don't forget to like this video and you know subscribe to this channel and also leave a comment in the comment section and you can also check around my channel you know for videos on how you can make money online without any investment okay i am going to catch you on my next video salim signing out